Meanwhile, back at the story of steel... Now, if you're serious about cooking, then a really sharp knife is a must. And if you look after it, then it can last you years. But what about a blade that lasts for a thousand years? That's as sharp today as it was when it was first made. For that, you need to go to Japan. The holy grail in sword making is having a steel which is hard enough to hold an edge, but flexible enough to survive heavy combat. The Japanese got round this problem by folding the steel up to 15 times, which knocked out all the impurities. They also often used different grades of steel for different parts of the blade, typically using a hard steel for the cutting edge and a softer, more flexible steel for the spine. And finally, they'd control the tempering of the blade by covering the hot sword in layers of clay. The less clay, the faster it cools. And the harder the edge. Now, we've seen in countless martial arts movies how samurai swords hack through limbs as if they're made of butter. But are they really that sharp? We're going to find out. To assist Johnny with this task, we've recruited the help of historic weapons enthusiast Andy Dean. Right, so what have we got here, Andy? Well, oh. this is a mat, soaked, as you can feel, it's quite damp too. Yeah. So it's very solid. Basically, if you didn't have any peasants or prisoners to practice on, nice. this was second best. Either that or green bamboo. The okay. idea being, obviously, you can see the, the, the thickness of it. What's and that? You can Somebody feel the weight of it. Replicating someone's arm? Yeah, neck, arm. Really? Yeah. I mean, but you'll see that it's not much of a problem either way. So it's going to go through that? Because that really does feel quite dense. With my uh, lack of ability, I'm sure the sword will compensate for me and we'll be able to do this. Now, if you missed that, here it is again. Samurai swords. Wow. Wow, Andy, that was really impressive. It's Thank gone you. clean through. That really is a clean cut. Well, you can see uh, the design, the curve of the sword, and the steel that's in it makes it a fantastic clinical weapon. <laughs>